here we are for the nighttime test. Oh, that cup holder looks awesome now. This backlit guys and check. Oh yeah, might. Yeah. <laughs> How good is that? With everything off and everything on. Beautiful. Look at that guys. Oh, just... G'day guys. Thanks for checking in. In today's video, I'm going to be connecting some LED strips to give backlighting inside the cup holder area and also inside the center console area here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to tap into, I've got a, uh, some lighting underneath the, the radio here in the center console area. I'm going to tap into the wiring for that light bulb, run the wires along, then connect it to this LED strip, uh, which I've already got, um, you know, this area of this like little rubber, rubber section here cut. And that's, I'm going to tape the LED strip to the back of this section here, and that'll give the lighting <clears throat> through this section. Then I'm going to drill a hole, run the wires through, and then stick another LED strip, probably on this side, um, to give some lighting inside there for nighttime activities of searching for things. <laughs> um, so guys, uh, you know, there's not a lot to it, really. We just need to connect a positive and a negative um, and run that along um, for our LED strips. Now, that lighting that I was showing you guys earlier, um, that bulb holder, it's actually a factory bulb holder. I've just relocated it from where it was taped up uh, next to the wiring for the cigarette lighter. I unwrapped that tape, took that bulb holder out, stuck a bulb in it, and then relocated it underneath this center console area. But today, I'm going to be opening the um, shifter surround, these set separate side piece trims, taking them off. That'll give us access to take this center console area out, get to that wiring plug, chop the wires, and then <clears throat> connect the wiring, or I should say extend the wiring um, for the cup holder area and for the center console. So we're not gonna need a lot of tools for anyone looking to do something like this for your car. Um, you know, just get a, a screwdriver, some kind of wire strippers, wire cutters. I've got some insulation tape, heat shrink, some um, connection ends for for wiring, some wire. I do have a bit of a, a spare 12 volt battery for testing some of the wiring. Now, um, you, not absolutely necessary, but if you want to retain, you know, the the lighting that you know <laughs> you could arrange for under here. Um, you know, I've just got from a junkyard a spare, you know, little T5 holder that I look to, you know, retain the lighting I've got under there for you know nighttime searching for things. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's, let's get to it guys. Okay, so we're going to start off by lifting this cup holder up <clears throat> and out. And, um, you know, there's like a clip on this side and a clip on this side pointing downwards. So these just lift straight up and out like that. Uh, with that removed, then we can remove this, um, shifter surround and these also just lift up and out. There are four clips on each corner. I should say one clip on each corner. So there's four clips. And that removes out as well. Now with that out of the way, we've got access to our two screws here. And with those two screws removed, guys, now we can remove the side center console trim pieces here and they just lift out like that. Lift your handbrake and the driver side one can come out. Very good. Now, <clears throat> you'll find that there are two screws here and here to remove this top little center console bin area. And with those two screws removed, guys, then you've got access for this center console little bin area to come out. Normally, you'll have your wiring connected to the back of the cigarette lighter there but what I've done previously was relocated mine behind the dash and uh, as I mentioned <clears throat> this is the wiring plug the bulb holder that was taped up to the original uh, factory cigarette lighter wiring plug you untape it and then you get access to this little holder now what I've devised today is a a nice little solution <clears throat> if I can find the solution where have I put the solution <laughs> ah yes I found the solution so what I did was I used the the holder for a T5 LED 
and I inserted from some spare stock these two wires. They're basically pieces of long pieces of metal that are insulated, um, and they poke out the bottom end. And I've uh, gone and crimped on some little connect-on terminals. Now what that's going to do is it's going to act in place. Let's cut this out. Where uh, you know factory bulb holder is designed for the T5 bulb to fit in. Instead of cutting the wiring of that holder under there to connect the wiring for the LED strips, I've uh, devised this T5 base that will just plug straight into the original holder. Okay, and now <clears throat> we've plugged in the adapter, so now we've got our positive and negative, and it's time to run the wires, the positive and negative extension wires, underneath and through to this area. Uh, so what I did here was I took two cables, a positive and a negative, fed it through the side, and um, out it comes here for underneath the cup holder. Um, what I managed to do to make life easier was I opened this screw and this screw and that gave me a little bit more leverage so I could you know pull the side trim a little bit and feed the cable through. Next I'm looking to drill a hole through this side to be able to then run the cable for the LED from here for the wiring to run under the cup holder and meet the wiring here. So what I did next guys was I ran a positive and negative tucked it from underneath this section, tucked it, pushed it, pushed it through, and then drilled a hole here and ran the positive and negative through there, connected it to my LED strip. So the LED wiring for the um, center glove box and a console here is done. Um, <clears throat> I've gone and collect, connected the LED for the um, cup holder and uh, I've gone and drilled a hole here. And what we're gonna do is poke our wire through here and actually get it through this section here there we go and now we can pull this through and that'll be nice and clean and out the way so the cup holder uh, unit itself can sit flush down the bottom so that's perfect next up guys I'm gonna go and connect the positive and the negative of the two LED strips to the positive and the negative that we're gonna go get from here uh, we're almost there very nice okay so we've gone and connected uh, the positive and the negative of both LED strips to the positive and the negative you know those blue wires the positive and negative that we're gonna attach here but before we go and attach the LED positives. I wanted to go and um, you know fix the the wiring um, plug for the under tray lighting. And what I did here, guys, again from a junkyard, I went and got a, <laughs> a bit of from the enemy opposition, a VE Commodore T5 holder. It's just a spare that I had lying around, but it did the job great. I drilled the hole from the bottom of this um, pocket just slightly enough for this um, T5 holder to. To wedge in and I've just opted for a, a halogen bulb but with a green sleeve over the top tonight. Um, but that should do it so now we can go and connect the positive and the negative of this bulb holder um, we can go and connect the, the excuse me we can go and connect the positive and the negative of this bulb holder to the positive and negative of the original and also to the positive and negative of our LED strips that we've extended over here Beautiful, so I've got to connect them up and show you all how, how I go. Okay guys, and uh, very exciting, everything is plumbed up. We've got our wiring for the under tray area connected to the wiring for the LEDs that are all connected here for the cup tray and for the center console. Now all we've got to do is plumb these up to our source of power, which again is coming from the factory original bulb holder that is taped up to the factory uh, cigarette lighter wiring loom. So now let's go and plumb them up and test that it's all working. Okay guys, now I'm um, turning the headlights on. Beautiful. Yes, so everything's on and off with the with the headlights. If I turn the headlights off, beautiful guys, that is awesome. So basically I've wired them up like this <clears throat> so that they only come on when it's dark enough at night. Um, love it, that is epic. Let's go and connect everything all back together. Oh, so good. Okay, so with the 
cables tucked behind the center console area. This unit back in, screwed there and there. These side trim pieces back, screwed here and here, although I lost a screw, rip. Um, <laughs> what I've done next is I've used some double-sided tape, something a little stronger um, than what was included on these strips. And so for the, initially, let's start with the, with the cup tray. Uh, cup holder uh, lighting here guys. So what I did um, when you take out the rubber insert Once that rubber insert is removed um, I this was a previous attempt. This was my first attempt today, but I found that this location for me um, was a good position for when this wiring is um, inside here I'm able to actually tuck the LED and the wires all in one. I'll show you what I mean here guys the a lot easier but we'll be able to pop this inside like so beautiful and um, just like that and this is where I made sure that the hole on this left side of the of the compartment was big enough to seat my little wiring terminals there um, we can go and get our positioning stick this down tuck the excess cable inside and then this will push down. Well, when we turn the headlights on now, beautiful, we're getting some great lighting. Can't wait to, to see that at night. I'm going to adjust the, the LED for this cup tray area <coughs> uh, back at night. Um, but this area, oh, looking awesome guys, so that'll always be on while, while the headlights are on, but it's not really going to blind us while driving. Same with the cup holder, it's not really going to be in our vision while we're driving, but a great little I can't wait, I can't wait guys, let's go get this shifter surround down. Complete the puzzle. Right. Might, oh, ah, mm. oh, yep, still works. Very nice. Sick guys, oh, that is so good. Again, off and on, beautiful. All right, guys, and now we're back for the nighttime viewing. Oh, look at that cup holder, guys. Oh, it's all, all backlit, and yes, the center box here as well. Beautiful. So all on and off with the with the headlights. Perfect. So we're going to get some nice little backlighting, you know. <clears throat> Sometimes we've got those odd, you know, screws and coins and things, you know, down here. And then in here, you know, we can you know, find our stuff, you know, at night a lot more easily. Beautiful. Um, guys, I hope this video, you know, helps and gives you guys some, some ideas going forward. Um, I might end up, let's see, we can see there's a little bit of light pollution here. I might end up just taping this down or using some double-sided tape from the inside. But really, that's not bothering me at all. Um, while driving, it's not reflecting in my eyes. Perfect. So, guys, as always, we've got to flick something for luck. So, today, let's flick our LEDs for luck. One and two. Beautiful. Um, catch you guys on the next video. Uh, I reckon it might be a fixing my glove box and also a little bit of a uh, an area here <clears throat> where dirt and debris builds up. So, beautiful, guys. Thanks for, for watching, and, and I hope, uh, hope it all helps give you guys some some ideas for for your car beautiful